so this is the rust of 11 and 12 for truth be told um not having the fast of great lent apostles fast nativity fast dormition fast wednesday monday and wednesday fasts um that last one got me be but um the dormition fast the nativity fast the apostles fast i mean the nativity wasn't set um on the current date until the fourth century um cyprian actually thought it should be in on march 27th um so why would those even exist at that time as for monday and wednesdays the earliest christian document the didache tells us to fast these days icons you will not find one early church if any clear exposition of the current eo theology and icons well why would you um the seventh ecumenical council came out of the actual historical practice of icons of, of reverencing icons and the concerns of epiphanius and eusebius and men like that um, but as for the theology i should restate that as for the theology we absolutely do see the theology it's a condemnation of docetism that's the theology um affirming that with iconography um and it just not being a teaching tool uh is yeah it's this it's around the seventh ecumenical council and about 200 years before but as images being holy that's throughout christianity um from the cloth the you know from the the images of Christ appearing that were not made with hands. And 12 soft panentheism. Panentheism is a new phrase type of thing. Um, orthodoxy is monotheistic. This new definition of panentheism was basically almost um, applied to fit to differentiate uh, um, Christianity from uh, or at least Eastern Orthodoxy from other forms of Christianity or Christianity in, to in total from Judaism and Islam. Christ, the Logos, the Logos did take upon flesh. You believe that, right? The pre-existent um, word of God came down and took upon flesh. It doesn't violate monotheism whatsoever, and it's not in any way Hinduistic. Hindu Hindus are pantheists and polytheists. Uh, I don't see the panentheism anywhere unless you want to say that um, Christ was the Christ was a pagan or that uh, Hercules was a pagan. It's, yeah, um, but I would I would encourage you to read early church fathers because you're drawing these sources from a guy who says he wants to heal the schism. The schism will never be healed. It's near blasphemy to try to reconcile anything with the Roman Catholic Church. They're done. There is no healing the schism. You have to bend backwards into heresy to try to even suggest to heal the schism. Peace to you. I hope this helps you.